Analysis Enhancements 2020, Improving the Genomic Relationship Matrix, Important for Merino, Maternal and Terminal Analyses. We scaled the genomic relationships to be closer to pedigree relationships. We did the scaling because the genomic relationships were pulling the trend of some flocks down. These biased trends were caused by how relationships are represented using genomics compared to pedigree. When you have pedigree relationships, your family population, who are the first animals that contribute information to your flock's breeding values, are the first animals in your pedigree. When you genotype animals, your animals can potentially have a genomic relationship with any animal in our genomic database. That means the first animals contributing information to your flock's breeding values could be a lot further back. Therefore, your breeding values might not be relative to the same base population. We found this affected some flocks with shallow pedigree and lots of recent genotyping. These polar trend lines are a known problem for single step analysis. Single step analysis is a relatively new technology and we are proving it all the time. We could fix it now because some flocks really increased their genotyping lately. We could see the impact of this genotyping and make the appropriate adjustments. These adjustments align genomic relationships to pedigree relationships better. This alignment of relationships makes the genetic trend for most traits in an, the Merino analysis improve. This graph has the average genetic trend for yielding weight in the Merino analysis plotted against year born across the bottom. The yellow line is the analysis without the scaling and the green line is with the improvements. Over time, the average breeding value for the new line increases faster than the old analysis. This is because genotyping has also increased over time. This improvement affected other traits, such as these traits from the Merino analysis. Fleece weight and muscle increases quicker and fiber diameter decreases quicker over time. Scaling the genomic relationship will impact mostly flocks with recent genotyping. Some flocks had minor changes and we contacted the flocks which had the biggest change. We made this change to merino, maternal and terminal analysis, but the change affected merinos mostly because these flocks tended to have more shallow pedigree and lots of recent genotyping. 